after three years of trying to impeach Donald Trump, I have some bad news for the Democrats. He's still your president. Even before Donald Trump became president, the Democrats have admitted that they wanted to get him out of office. I don't see this president-elect as a legitimate president. That the president or elect, although legally elected, is not legitimate. Because we're going to go in there, we're going to impeach the mother Trump is goading us to impeach him. You could reach in a bag and pull so many things out that are impeachable of this president. I'm concerned that if we don't impeach this president, he will get reelected. Since the day that I'd gotten elected, I'd said to people, it is not if he will be impeached, but when. Since they admitted they wanted Donald Trump out before he even got in, they had to come up with some hoaxes to try and get him out of office. We have Russia, we have Ukraine, we have obstruction of Congress. They're such sore losers that instead of running better candidates in 2020, they're the ones trying to undermine the election process and undo the results of 2016. But thankfully, we have enough people in this country with brains left and they didn't fall for it, except for Mitt Romney. <laughs> And we all know that four years ago, these were the same exact people who said Donald Trump wouldn't be able to handle losing the election in 2016. You know, every time Donald thinks things are not going in his direction, he claims whatever it is is rigged against him. He said the Republican primary was rigged against him. This is how Donald thinks. And it's funny, but it's also really troubling. Boy, how the tides have turned. Now the Democrats are gonna have to deal with him winning in 2016, getting acquitted in 2020, and then winning again later this year. Four years ago, Hillary Clinton swore up and down that when she won, Donald Trump would not accept the results. But instead, after Donald Trump was acquitted, here's Hillary Clinton still whining about how she didn't win. Aww. Something that I think should insult every single American in this country is that the Democrats knew the Senate would not vote to impeach Donald Trump. They have a Republican majority. It's not going to happen. But they pushed it anyway. They lied to you guys, they wasted your money, and they controlled the media to focus on impeachment and their hoaxes rather than Donald Trump's accomplishments over the last four years. It's so dishonest, and they've poisoned the minds of the voters. But unfortunately for them, I think the voters are seeing through it. And of course, you guys have all seen by now Nancy Pelosi ripping up Donald Trump's speech, probably because she knew he would be acquitted. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you very much. I have to thank Nancy Pelosi for her little stunt. We all know the mainstream media wasn't going to tout Donald Trump's accomplishments that he listed off anyway. So now the focus is on her, a House leader, a Democrat, showing herself as a fool. What else can we say? Thank you for handing Trump the 2020 election. And this might come as a shock to you guys, but she's not the only Democrat bothered by this news. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what do you think we need to do because you guys are overwhelmed? <laughs> Nancy, this is for you.
And this is to celebrate the Democrats' chances of winning in 2020. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new videos. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Bennett and receive super cool perks like an autographed photo from me in the mail each month. Or you can go to CaitlinBennett.org and get up to 75% off and free shipping on supplements and merchandise to support my work and start living a healthy life. My favorite product is TurboForce because it gives me all the energy I need to make it through a long day of doing interviews. And check out the website Bandot Video to see uncensored content from conservative creators that have been erased from social media.